Some states take the position that, you know, this is medical marijuana, it's medicine, it shouldn't be taxed. I think that's the right position. I think it is highly doubtful that our state takes that position. But Do you I think, think they will the right tax one. it? And it'll, I, I think they will. And then it would bring it. tax revenue seemingly to the cities where the dispensaries are? Yeah. And then I'll, I'll argue and find um, an attorney to fight that, well, we don't tax medicine, so why am I paying tax on my product? You know, and the other thing, too, is we, we need to remember that constitutional law supersedes all other law, period. So if the Constitution does not have it written in there that you can zone and regulate, they have to enact the plain language only. So anything that we are doing underneath that will not qualify, and I have a right then to sue you for violating my constitutional right to own a business get medicine, not be taxed, etc. Yeah. That is a huge thing that people really need to understand that a constitutional law is of and above all other law and they should have gotten more specific so what if about they cared. Her, his point that uh, this does not super what was your point that it doesn't supersede sure, other well, other laws. Right, but look at the fair district. We just went through this Mr. McKee just mentioned this. We just went through this with fair districting. And just because it says that doesn't mean anything because no, but we, we already know it. that, and excuse me, yet again, we already know that constitutional law, no matter what you write in it, still supersedes state law, county, and city. You're not saying city. anything, Jessica. You're not saying anything, and you're wrong. Okay? If, <laughs> if it's not in here, it doesn't, it do, it's not affected. And, and it is within the rights of the legislature and the department and local governments to do something about it. I wrote the law. You just said when, it's when not we're in there, about, so they're when, not listen, within their when rights When we're talking about it. constitutional law at a real high level, at the United States level, not the Florida Constitution that has pregnant pigs in it and that has all sorts of stupid things that people put in it, this is not a sacred document. Let's just dispense with that notion. Um, but you're, you're just not, you're not paying attention to how this actually works in practice. This is not how a bill becomes a law. This is not schoolhouse rock here. Uh, you're, you're ignoring... Uh, the law and and what will take place under implementation and you're assigning all these things to this law that are not in the plain language. You keep talking about the plain language. They're not there. So you can't just make them up. So why is the Florida Medical Association against it? Because the Florida Medical Association is an arm of the Republican Party of Florida no, and they on. don't and they don't and they're an arm of the anti trial lawyers and John Morgan's a trial lawyer. Mm -hmm. I think that is it's a all, big part of it. It's all personal because of Mr. Morgan? Or political? I think you don't believe it's political? Doctors the Florida no. Medical Association is a political organization, is political, yeah. just like this okay, campaign committee is a political so organization, just like yours is a political organization.